Hey, what is going on guys? This is Starsha and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the best build for Celeborn in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, before we get into the video, just a quick disclaimer. Everyone who's watching this video and this build guide, I'm assuming you have Celeborn at level 50 and respect level 5. The reason for this is because that way you'll get 50 skill points from level 50, 5 skill points from having a minute of respect level 5, and a last 5 skill points from his support title which gives you a total of 60 skill points. However, if you are in Lothlorien, then the build I'm giving you is actually going to require a total of 67 skill points. And to get 67 skill points, you're going to need to have him at respect level 8 instead of 5. And you're going to have to have his imparted wisdom maxed out, which gives you 4 bonus skill points. So long as you have that, great. If you don't, you're going to have to skim or cut out a little bit here and there to make the build work for you. Anyway, let's get straight into the first part of the video, which is going to be army composition. So if we go to his army, okay, don't ignore what I have, it's terrible. But if you're playing Lothlorien, okay, so Lothlorien army composition, you're going to have full March Wardens. And you, if you want to have a meat shield or a melee unit, then you have March Wardens and Guardians. Otherwise, just go full March Wardens. Uh, Non-Lothlorien army composition. So for those of you who are not in Lothlorien, you're going to go with a full army of Sentinels or a full army of Bow Knights. Or you're going to go with an army of sentinels plus guardians or bow knights plus guardians. This just depends on what you want. Whether you want to have a melee unit as a meat shield or whatever or not. I say just go with the full ranged. So for Lothlorien obviously that's full march wardens. For non-Lothlorien that is full sentinels or bow knights. Anyway onto the next part of the video that's going to be gear. So gear for Celeborn, oh Celeborn, sorry guys, just let me know down below in the comment section which way to pronounce it, but anyway, back to what I was saying, gear for Celeborn, you're gonna go with full focus gear, okay, every single gear piece you should have on him should give focus, so worn out smoking pipe, very good as accessory, plus 45 focus, uh, my garrison coat, uh, speed of the rangers and Haradrim scarf all give him some focus, Obviously it's not great because I don't really have any good purple or gold gear to give but if you do then something like a mithril coat which gives a lot of focus will be great here and just any focus based gear that's that's all you're gonna need to do okay. Celeborn all gear focus based everything must give focus okay focus is the most important thing for Celeborn and that's both for a lot of people playing Lothlorien and those not playing Lothlorien it doesn't matter you both go focus here anyway on to the next part of the video which is his skills so let's go to allocate points and first we're going to be going over the Lothlorien skill build so those are for all of you players who are playing Lothlorien all you're going to want to do is max out Lord of Lorien you're going to want to max out firing formation you're going to completely skip and not bother with Elven Leader it's a waste of time 25% chance to gain follow up at max level for 7 skill points, just not worth it, do not bother with it, cut it out. Next you're going to want to max out Grey Elf, then you're going to max out Shield Training, then you're going to max out Deadeye, finally you're going to max out Guide and you're going to put 1 point into the Wise. However this is going to take up 67 skill points, so for those of you guys who are playing Lothlorien you are going to need to have a respect level 8. Celeborn and you're gonna have to have maxed out his imparted wisdom in order to put this full build otherwise you're gonna have to skim here and there okay it's up to you which one you want to change but you're gonna have to skim skill points here or there so reason why you max a lot of Lorien first two rounds March Warden damage plus 1.4 percent with scales with level obviously and that effect is modified by your focus stat at max level March Warden's gain initiative which is great next you're gonna want to max out firing formation Firing formation at 7 out of 7 will give your melee units damage received minus 1.4% per level and ranged units damage dealt plus 1.4% per level. So at max out that's going to give you a ton less damage received to your melee and a ton more damage dealt by your ranged units. Grey Elf is at max is going to give you 15% chance to evade damage that's for allied elvish units only and it's a waste of time. The only reason you're putting this on is to use the side parts, okay? I really don't think this is worth it, but you're gonna need to max this out in order to have your side parts. And the reason why is because shield training is so important. 7 out of 7 ranged units damage received is gonna be minus 14%, okay? And Deadeye, 7 out of 7 is gonna give you ranged units damage plus 21%. So think about that, 21% extra damage plus 1.4% times 7 
Uh, so that's even more extra damage from firing formation. Plus, Marsh Wardens will gain plus 1.4% times 15, then effect modified by your focus step. That's just a ton of damage. Now, the reason why you're going to max out Guide is because your first two rounds, all your allied units are going to have plus 45% physical damage. And more importantly, when they're maxed out, they're all going to gain stun immunity. Stun immunity means you're immune to all those Gandalfs trying to stun you. If you're reversing evil factions, you're immune to any Sauron, Witch King stuns, any commanders that try to stun you, you're immune to those stuns for the first two rounds. The reason why you put one point into the wise is because the wise is absolutely crazy. It's overpowered. It's one of his best skills. And putting 15 points into it, the only thing that affects is the amount of damage received uh, is reduced by 15%. So each level you increase it, that damage received increases by one damage received uh, decreases by 1%. So at level 1, you'll receive 1% less damage, level 15, 15% less damage. The rest of the skill stays the same, so there's no point putting more skill points into that. So you're going to put 1 point into there because at focus 150, you'll receive 1% less damage with 1 skill point. At focus level 250, it doesn't matter if you put 1, 10, or 15 skill points into it, you will receive madness immunity. And at 350, your army will gain initiative. Like, how great is that, okay? For one skill point, you get Madness Immunity, you get Initiative, and you get 1% damage, 1% less damage received. So, yeah, that's going to be our Lord Lorien build, okay? 15 points into Lord of Lorien, 7 points into Fire Information, 15 points into Grey Elf, 7 points into Shield Training, 7 points into Deadeye, 15 points into Guide, and 1 point into the Wise. Your entire army has Madness and Stun Immunity, and your range units are basically like nuclear bombs going off with so much of damage increase from guide from lord of lorien from firing formation from dead eye and they receive less damage thanks to your shield training now next up we're going to be going over the bolts for non lost lorien players also guys if you can hear my dogs in the background i do apologize for that okay they're dogs they love to bark and there's nothing i can do about it i've already tried recording this video like 20 times anyway back to the video so for all you players who are not playing lost lorien the build is very simple 15 points into Grey Elf, uh, 7 points into Shield Training, 7 points into Deadeye. You are not going to bother with R5. Pretend it doesn't exist. It's not there because that only affects March Warden, March Wardens, and there's no point putting 15 points into a skill that only affects March Wardens, okay? So for your non locked players, R5 doesn't exist. We don't need it. We don't want it, okay? Anyway, 15 points into Grey Elf, as I said, 7 into Shield Training, 7 into Deadeye, 15 into Guide, and then 15 into The Wise because why the hell not? But you don't have to do that, okay? So the first option is you put 15 points into the wise, 15 into guide, 15 into gray elf, that's 45 points. Another 14 points into dead eye and shield training, which is 55, 59. And then you put one point into whatever else you want. Or if you don't want to put 15 points into the wise, you just want to do the one point thing. The one point that I told you to activate everything. Then you go 15 into Grey Elf, 7 into Shield, 7 into Deadeye, 15 into Guide, 7 into Armed Escort. And then I guess you dump the rest of the points into Foresight or you upgrade the Wise along with one of the other skills because, you know, they're pretty decent as well. Silver Tall gives you more focus and speed. Magical Barrier increases your army defense and makes them absolutely tanky. But yeah. That's going to be your build for all your non lot Glorian players. 15 into Guide, 15 into Grey Elf, both of a, a Grey Elf side pass maxed out. And then either 15 points into the Wise and 1 point elsewhere, or 1 point into the Wise and then you maxed out Armed Escort. And the rest of the points is you can distribute them at your own discretion. But yeah. Celeborn is very overpowered. At R0, you have Manus immunity. You have stun immunity. You can gain initiative as well, depending just on how high your focus level is. And then he's got some great stuff here, which is Silver Tall, which helps to increase both speed and focus for commander. You have Magical Barrier, which increases your army defense. You have Armed Escort, which deals damage and heals every second round. So that's pretty great as well. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And let's just do a quick overview of everything. So... First, in first place first, army-wise, Lothlorien players, full army of March Wardens. If you don't want to have full army of March Wardens, full army of March Wardens plus Guardians. non Lothlorien players, full army of Sentinels or full army of Bow Knights. If you do not want to do that, then Bow Knights plus Guardians or, Sent or Sentinels plus Guardians, up to you. Next, we go over to the gear. And oops, wrong button. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. Go back over to gear everything has to be focus based okay all his gear give him good focus gear he needs it okay the higher the focus level the better it is because the wise at 350 focus will give your army initiative 
So make sure all focus gear, one hour smoking pipe, great, stuff like Mithril coat, great, anything that gives focus, great, stick it on him. Skill build for you Loth Lorian players, R5, max out Lord of Lorian, max out fire information, max out Grey Elf, max out shield training, max out Deadeye, max out guide and put one point into the wise. Remember you have to have your imparted wisdom into him maxed out at 4 extra skill points and you have to have him at R8 in order for this to work. If you do not have him at R8, you're gonna have to choose where you want to skim off some skill points. For example, you could take off 1 from Lord of Lorien and 1 from Grey Elf. It'll still allow you to max out these ones but you won't get the max level effect for each one. And then you can, I don't know, make a plan guys. You have If you don't have him at R8, you're gonna have to you know, mix and match or figure out how you're gonna distribute your skill points. Now for you non Lothlorian players, Grey Elf maxed out, Guide maxed out, Deadeye maxed out, Shield Training maxed out, and the Wise maxed out and one point elsewhere or one point into the Wise. And instead of maxing the Wise out, those extra 14 skill points can go into Armed Escort and Foresight if you want, or you could just distribute them between the Wise and something like Magical Barrier or Silver Tall. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.